Okay, and I did a video about this, but I didn't even touch on the fact that there's a speed control. So it's really simple. You've got the number one. And you can hear that output. You switch it to two. That's your safety switch. You just flip that forward. So the reason for that is with that lower setting, you will get a slower spinning trimmer head. So it'll turn slower, so you've got less whip, less power to cut through taller weeds. But what it does, it saves on the battery. It helps conserve the juice. I'm just using one of my compact ones. It comes with the larger one in the kit that I purchased. But if I want to take it easy on the battery, um, I just set it up for that number one setting. Then if I really want to go after some stuff, I go number with the uh, number two setting. So, all right, I hope all that helps. Um, it's a great tool and I've been really happy with it so far. So in my unboxing video, I never changed the speed and I was running it full out, but this is, um, this is the number one setting. Okay, um, the next tip is that what you want to do is not take apart this head to wind the string. You're going to see this collar right here on the top of the trimmer head. That will rotate until there's a gap right here. And they give you this silver pin. Um, you put that in there, and what that does is it keeps the head from turning. And then this is a crank, so you put a strip of string, you just stick it through here so it's an even amount, and when you put this crank on here and you wind it, what it does is it ratchets it in, and then you've got the string wound up just like that. So it takes something like less than a minute to load it. So that's tr uh, trick number two. Don't try and take this apart. There's a lock thing here. Um, don't mess with that. Just hang on to your pin or in a pinch. You can use a nail, but you just want to stick it in there and keep the head from, lock the head and keep it from twisting. Okay, second thing to be aware of is as soon as you get this thing out of the box, um, you want to take these and you want to get a good grip on the housing and you want to unscrew them. The reason is these go right into the plastic. It's a uh, more coarse thread. By comparison, you have, um, I think there's a metal receiver uh, set into the plastic, molded into the plastic. So this bolts together, but it's metal on metal, so it comes together very easily. But on this one, because the metal is going right into the plastic, um, what you want to do is take them out, get a good grip, and make sure you might need a, like a screwdriver, like a power drill or something, to back them out cleanly. But uh, the reason you want to do that, and maybe it's not a big deal, but um, if you want to change the length that this trimmer line gets cut to by this blade here, it's reversible. It's kind of, it's got a beveled edge here for trimming the line. So from here to here right now is seven inches. You turn this around and then it gives you a six inch radius here, which gives you 12 inch cutting diameter. So um, by reversing this, you can change it. So if you have a smaller bed of, uh, you know, like a raised bed with some flowers and stuff like that, and you want a smaller trimmer area to work in close quarters, you do that. And then if you want to turn it around and get the bigger, like a big patch of weeds or something with this, then you set it up for this configuration. Okay, so um, those are the tips. Um, just don't mess with the head. Um, just uh, use the ratchet and the pin for winding it. Um, make sure you kind of take these screws out so you can um, put some wax or something in there so it's easy to flip that if you're going to be doing that. Um, and then um, just keep in mind your speed control will help you conserve your battery if you want or really go after thicker stuff like this. Um, I have a property where I have a lot of um, vines growing over the fences, so it's been a, a real help kind of knocking those back. 
Um, I don't have a lot of stuff to mow, but it's also been good for just taking down areas like my boulevard where I just need to flatten things out. So if you got any questions or comments, um, feel free to message me. As you can see, balance as well. And uh, if you want to see me do more videos like this, please uh, like and subscribe. There's another one, but um, we'll start there. Thanks. There's uh, any. Uh, bleh, 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 bleh.